Lachi, good morning. My name is Christine Clark and I am from the U.S. and I am volunteering in Achika Kaforjua, Ghana with You Volunteer. When I arrived, I was picked up by the volunteer coordinators and they gave me a brief tour of Accra, the capital, and then took me home to Kaforjua where we stay in this um, kind of dorm-like area that has like a western bathroom and um, shower and but you still get the feeling of being in Ghana and getting to see how the people here live. My project was at the Hour of Grace Orphanage and there really aren't words to describe how wonderful the, the experience was. I was teaching a group of 43 students between the ages of 5 and 7 and um, they were the orphanage children as well as kids coming around from surrounding villages. And it was, a, it was definitely an interesting experience because they were so young and many of them did not speak English very well. So I really had to tweak my techniques in order to find a way to keep them engaged and learning and able to understand me. Um, and so that was, that was really a challenge at first, but I was able to adapt to it and uh, it was a very good learning experience too. It wasn't all teaching. I also got to stay afterwards, after the school had closed, and just stay with these um, orphanage children and draw with them and play football with them and um, just be there with them. And they, they taught us all, all kinds of different clapping games and songs, and so we really got to feel what it is that they do as students, as children in, in Ghana. Um, and I felt like that was just so rewarding, and I had such a great time with them. And I really got to know some of the, the kids really well and um, got to hear their stories and what it is, what it's like for them to live here and what's important to them and what they, they like to do for fun. Again? Start up. No, 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 no. I hope to take a lot of this back to, to show uh, my friends and family at home because really and it's not just the children at the orphanage but the people here they don't need a lot they really are very happy um, with what they have and I think that that's a hard lesson for people maybe coming from the western countries to to feel and so it was a good lesson for me and I hope that I can take that home and show other people as well that you don't need to have a lot of stuff to be very very happy On the weekends, the volunteers traveled all around the country. Um, we traveled along the coast to Bayin and um, Cape Coast and saw the sites there. And we also went to the Vulta region where we had monkeys crawling all over us and, <laughs> and we climbed to Vlee Waterfall, the tallest waterfall in Western Africa, I believe. And uh, we also climbed to the top of the highest mountain in Ghana. Um, and we stayed at a resort in Adafo um, that was located on, on an estuary. So right outside of our huts was this really slow moving river that was almost like a lake, it was so big. And then about a two minute walk the other direction, we hit the ocean. So we got to swim in the ocean as well. Um, and that was a really relaxing trip. Number one is really be patient. Everything takes a long time in Ghana. People are really, really relaxed here and time is not, it doesn't rule their lives in the way that it does in, for a lot of other people. Um, things just kind of happen when they happen and so if you have your heart set on being somewhere at a certain time, it probably 
will be several hours later than that. So it's a good thing to just go into it and just be, okay, I'm going to get there when I get there. And um, it, it, it's just better to be a little bit more relaxed about things. Also, don't come with a lot of expectations. I, I really feel like, and this goes for when you travel abroad anywhere, um, let the experience form itself. Try not to have any preconceived ideas about what it should be like or what it's going to be like. Um, just try and just come and be open for anything and just to learn how things are in that culture, in that country, because it's going to be very, very different from everything else that you know. I really recommend anybody who has the chance to, to go abroad for even if it's just for a couple weeks, you won't be sorry. Um, it's a wonderful program and, and Ghana itself is a beautiful country with beautiful people. And I really hope that more people get to come here and experience what uh, I have experienced here. So um, take care and we hope to see you here sometime. Thank you. Maybe